Who's ready for some love for commentary? Because I am. Uh, yeah, I haven't uploaded a video in, like, let's count, uh, forever. And I really just want to, like, do something. And I actually have a pretty funny topic to talk about this week. I don't know I said this week, but I have a pretty funny topic to talk about, and it's my dream last night. Actually, I had two dreams, and they were real fucking sketchy. Uh, just before we do anything, I need to explain to you that I have a crippling JoJo's Bizarre Adventure addiction. Um, since I stopped uploading shit on my channel, I uh, started watching too much anime and played Persona 5, and now I can't stop. And what I could totally do is do Ace Attorney, uh, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy as a, a series on this channel, but I also don't fucking feel like it, which is a thing. Um, uh, doesn't matter, but I'm just going to tell you about my dream now. So, from what I remember, wow, from what I remember, I had two dreams yesterday. I have no fucking clue what the first one was about. Uh, I have a video of it on my PS4. Maybe I'll just... I'll just splice it in here after the rant, but... My second dream was real fucking weird. It, it was pretty cool, though. Uh, and it was like... I, I think I was lucid dreaming, as I say in the video clip of me talking to Owen about me lucid dreaming. Because, um... I, like... I thought it was real, but I was being myself. Like, I had full control over what I was doing. It's like, it had no story. It's just like, I literally did whatever the fuck I felt like. But I didn't. And, uh, pretty much here's what happened. So, the start of the, the, the time, I, uh... Don't, I'm, it's kind of foggy, but I do remember. It, it started in a theater. Right? And I was hanging out with some people. Pretty cool people. I was hanging out with Markiplier and some very, very attractive lady next to him. But uh, Markiplier was like, all right, I'm going to go up and uh, I'm going to get up and get some popcorn. And I was like, all right. And I don't know where the fuck I was sitting, but when he got up, like I stole his spot. Um, I think it was just like me and him were sitting next to each other. Same seats, but no armrest in between. It was like a couch, like a homie couch. And, uh... So I scooched over, stole a spot, sat, like, right next to the attractive lady, and I was just like, ha ha, and I started flirting with her and shit, and, um, that was pretty fun, that, that, she was very attractive, I cannot stress that enough, she was muy attractivo, and, uh, we just, like, talked and shit, and then Markiplier came back, and he goes, you stole my fucking spot, dude, like, he wasn't even mad that I, like, I was sitting next to the attractive woman at this point. He was angry that I stole his fucking spot, you know? Dishonorable type shit that I just did, but it's okay. It's okay. He uh, ended up getting angry and sat on the armrest between me and this woman. And uh, just sat there until the movie started. And then for some reason, some morbidly obese white male uh, walked, walked up to my seat and sat on the uh, on the side of the homie couch that I was sitting on before. But he didn't fit in the seat. So this man just slagged and sagged down. And it was it was pretty disgusting. That sounds really fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm not fat shaming anyone, but like if you're going to if you're going to be like morbidly obese cuz like I'm overweight, you know? I'm not a skinny I'm not a skinny, young, uh, athletic male. I'm a plump motherfucker. And just, just, if you're gonna be morbidly obese, please just, please just don't, like, just know your boundaries, you know? Like, it's not even, the fact that he was morbidly obese, that was just like a, the cherry on top. It's just like he just violated all sorts of personal space. He sat next to me, but he was, like, too wide for the seat. So, like, he was, yes, I'm going to use this term, spilling, like, on top of me. And I was just like, okay. So I tried to push him off, but every time that I tried to, like, push him off, I would just push, like, faps of of lard. And it, I don't know. It makes me feel bad talking about him like he's some animal. But it wasn't an existent man. It just, he just didn't exist. It was in my dream. So, like, it just, it doesn't even matter at this point. If you're going to get offended, congratulations. It just doesn't fucking. And, um, yeah, 
that's 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 uh, the first section of the dream, and then I walked into uh, this like warehouse slash room full of um. I do remember my first dream. I'll actually go back to that. But uh, here's the second section of the dream. I walked into this room filled with like my current friend group, and um, th th we called each other the Phantom Thieves because yes, Persona Five. Um, and I walk into the room with the Phantom Thieves, and we're just sitting there, you know, chilling. And then I, I turn to my my best friend Joe. That's not a fucking joke. Yes, his name is Joe. And, uh, we're just like, dude, I'm chilled with Markiplier before this. I was just hanging out with Markiplier. And, keep in mind that this guy doesn't even fucking watch Markiplier. <laughs> but for some reason, to humor me, he just goes, oh! Like, I'm pretty sure he did, like, the Joseph Joestar, oh my god! Like, type, type thing. That was, that was very uh, endearing. But then, like, half of the group just, like, went off into the corner of this room. So this room is shaped like an L, right? And you know how an L... I'll put it up on the screen. You know how an L has that, like, shaft, and then it has this little part that goes to the right? Yes, I said fucking shaft. It has this part that goes to the right. So the room was kind of shaped like that, but, like, not. And, uh, I was located here. And everybody else was located here. Except Joe was standing next to me, because why not? And there was a window and a whiteboard, and, um, we were, like, we're all just getting random superpowers. Don't know why. It, it was cool, but I don't know why. Um, my, uh, my black friend Francis got, uh, yes, I have a black friend, and he's very black. Uh, he got telekinesis. Um, my, like, yeah, uh, no, no, never mind. Uh, fucking... But people just got powers, and and then my my friend Joe got Silver Chariot from from jo JoJo's, and uh, I was just like, oh shit, that's cool. And then and then I was just like, Haha, you know, it'd be funny if I just like got a stand, and then I got Star Platinum. <laughs> and uh, heavy spoilers if you haven't watched, fuck, whatever. And then I just yelled, Tomore Tokyo! like really fucking loud expecting nothing to happen and then time stopped and then i spent the next two seconds freaking the fuck out that i stopped time and once time resumed i i, I got i got i my stand went bye bye and um that was like the only time that i actually got a stand this next one i didn't get a stand but i got a power and it was really weird um i went over I was just like, uh huh, and then I went to go look at the window, like really sad because I lost our platinum. And then I touched the window, and leaves grew on it, and I went, oh, oh, oh. And then I turned to Joe, and I go, Joe, look at this. I touched it, went, go to the space, and then the leaves grew, and he was just like, wow. And um, that that was pretty funny. He like was very ecstatic the fact that I got golden experience, even though in real life, if I got golden experience, he'd be like, why the fuck are you you betraying me? Because he wants golden experience. Because golden experience is dope. Um, but then, like, everybody just left. Like, everybody just kind of disappeared. And my mom and my sister were there instead. For, for, uh... For reference, my sister is very young. She's in kindergarten. And, uh... And my mom was just there. And we were like, the L shape had a door at one side, and we started exiting out. And in that little hallway, there's like a mud pile kind of thing. It wasn't really mud, it was more like dirt, but it's the easiest way to describe it. It was like a divot in the concrete. It was just dirt instead, and there was like probably 10 bullets in there. 10, like 50 BMG type bullets. If you don't know what that is, that's like. Barrett 50 cal size bullets, like, the length of my hand, but instead of being pointy, the bullets were round at the end, and I picked them up, and I dropped some of them, and I was like, I'm not gonna need these bullets, like, what the fuck would they have bullets here? Uh, so, I dropped them, and I had three in my hand, and my mom walked through the door as I was scrounging for bullets, my sister was behind me, my mom kicks her foot 
at the bottom of the door. And goes, pick up the rest, we're going to need them. And I was just like, um, Nandaska, what do you mean by that? And, uh, I proceeded to pick up majority of the bullets, not all of them. Um, and, uh, and then this happened. There was an AR-15, you know, like your standard motherfucking M4 type shit, lying on the ground. And there's this guy in this hallway, but he wasn't like a normal guy. He was just like a zombie, easiest way to describe it. He was a zombie, except he was fully functioning. It's like, it looks like he just got infected with like some sort of zombie type virus. But he was thinking, and he was speaking rationally. He wasn't speaking rationally, he was fucking psychopath, but either way, he had coherent language, uh, coherent sentences that actually made sense in the context that I was in. And he looked at me and he goes, you have the advantage of range, so, like, come get me or something like that. I know, he said, you have the advantage of range, I don't remember what the last one lines were. And then he would, like, runs at my mom. And I was like, okay, that's not epic. So I take the bullets that were massive, and they're now just normal size, except for the original three that I picked up. I shove them into the mag of the, the M4, and, like, the M4 has, like, these weird extra bullets that, like, don't even fucking fit, so I, like, throw them out. And by the time he did that, he got to my sister. And I was just like, okay, fuck this. I threw the M4 to the side. I grabbed one of the big-ass bullets, and I, s like, spanked it, and, uh, that set off the bullet, he went straight through the center of his forehead, and then I went to go check up with my mom and my sister, my mom was just gone, like, she, she, like, was nowhere to be found, and my sister was lying on the ground, and I was just like, oh, shit, this is not good, is she, like, okay, um, so I help her up, and she's, like, perfectly fine, don't know why the fuck she'd be perfectly fine, maybe it's just because they wanted to censor my dream, because I'm not in the mental state necessary to handle bullshit like that. Uh, but that, that was, like, freaky. That was the freaky, the freaky dream. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys, you know? Uh, because some YouTubers are just, like, um, there. Some YouTubers are just, like, Well, one time, I went to my school, and I shit on the floor. <laughs> Give me views. I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm not a big channel whatsoever. I just, like, want to give you something honest and something entertaining. Also, I'm going to go to my friend's house, and I uh, intend to force them to watch this. And if not, then I'm going to yell at them. Uh, and if they get to this point, then I'm going to... If they get to this point in the video, I'm going to congratulate them formally on paying the fuck attention, because our friend group never fucking does that shit. Oh my god. If I put a video on, please just pay attention. Like, it's probably important, and I know Joe probably feels the same way. If I'm gonna show you a retarded, stupid meme video, I want you guys to laugh and not be on your phones and be like, Wow, Martha Snapchatted me from Gotham City. <laughs> wow. I don't know, that was a fucking funny joke. You know what I meant. Martha's a corpse, okay? I <sighs> I don't know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm getting at. Like and subscribe on the video because I'm being an honest motherfucker. That's that's what I meant to say. Uh, if if you didn't enjoy the video, then I'll try to make some stuff that actually requires effort. And uh, if you did like the video, then you know what to fucking do. You already have like thousands of YouTubers telling you daily what to fucking do. Um, and uh, yeah. That's really it.